Hi, uh, so I wanted to record a quick, quick video to explain how you can change keyboard layout um, from the command line uh, and I'm going to be talking about uh, Debian and specifically kind of a minimal install of Debian uh, of the kind that I have which is basically simply like what I did is I installed Debian without any uh, of um, the um, what are they called? Like uh, desktop environments that uh, the the OS comes with uh, that you can choose during the installation. I just installed uh, like uh, the command line only version, and then I installed Awesome Window Manager. Like I have uh, other videos where I show um how i did that so uh, i'll put a link in the description where you can see uh kind of the whole installation process and stuff like that and this video is going to be in the same series on setting up debian so um but this should also work on any kind of other version of debian and probably like debian derivatives such as ubuntu and stuff like that um Basically, I just needed uh, to do this today uh, because I, I needed to switch the keyboard layout for the first time since I started using Debian uh, at all. And uh, I just figured that I uh, share uh, what I learned uh, in this video. So basically, um, the kind of the, the most uh, straightforward way that I found to, uh, you can do this is by using this set uh, xk uh, xkb map command so um let me open up a manual for it um so it has like a bunch of options but the one that i'm gonna be talking about are layout and uh, and variant uh, basically i'm just gonna be quickly showing how you can s switch the keyboard layout um and uh there's also this other man page that is, is uh, good to know about. It's this xkeyboard-config uh, man page. So let's take a look at that as well. Um, basically, in here, you can uh, find a list of all the available keyboard layouts. Um, uh, like, yeah, over here you have all of them. Basically, what you have... Um, so I said I'll, I'll be talking about two um, two options, uh, layout and variant. So the layout uh, is uh, what's outside of, of the parentheses, and then in, in the parentheses you have the variant. Um, and so, yeah, you can basically choose a lot of key, key, keyboard layouts for many languages. And I only tried um, basically US and... Uh, US International and US International Alternative. But maybe I'll try one like for some other random language. It's kind of nice that you can just like, you don't have to like, you know, when you have like a desktop environment, you usually need to just like set the specific languages that you want to use uh, and uh, like, you know, configure all of that. Like, but here you just basically have a bunch of keyboard layouts that come with the system and there's a command that you can use to switch which I find uh, kind of easier for myself uh, because I don't need to like think about like, oh, what languages will I need? Like, or like what key keyboard layouts will I need? Um, so, yeah, so basically there's two ways to switch um, the keyboard layouts. First is just to type uh, set XKB map and then go uh, like US and uh, INTL in parentheses so you can put both the um, the layout name and the variant uh, into just one argument uh, and uh, that will do the trick so I'll switch to another view here and let me hide uh, this preview for a second so over here uh, you can see that I have right now I have the US layout uh, just kind of the standard one so now if I press enter that will switch to US international. And now if I hit, for example, the apostrophe key, now I can enter 
like uh, that becomes uh, what's called a dead key and now I can enter like an, uh, a letter with, a, with an accent. So the keyboard layout uh, has been switched. You can also use the alternative international and again you can see over here uh, I realize that this font is a bit small but um, hopefully you can see that it has switched. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's one way to do it. Uh, the other way would be to use uh, options. Uh, so it's sort of like, uh, so you need to go dash, uh, was it layout US and then dash uh, variant international. Uh, so that will do the same thing. Um, okay, now the only advantage I see you for using options is that you don't need to kind of do the quoting or like escaping the parentheses. Like you could also do this and escape parentheses with like backslashes, but I mean, typing all of that is not exactly convenient. So, you know, either use quotes or, or use like options like this. Uh, they both do. Um, the same thing, and so if you if you omit the variant, then it uses just the um, just like the um, what's it called? I don't know what it's called, but uh, the the main uh, variant, I guess, uh, of the that keyboard layout. So like, I also thought that in Awesome Window Manager, there's this run prompt which you can uh, uh, use by pressing uh, super plus R and you get this run, run prompt over here and then you can use uh, this command uh, from here but like when I press enter for some reason it does this thing where it thinks like it's, it's loading some program but it's just one command and like then kind of what the mouse cursor shows does not really make sense so I'll probably be using it from uh, from the just like the the from a terminal for this reason but it still works it still switched the the layout um so um yeah but it's kind of annoying that it does this like it disappears after a few seconds but um yeah i don't like like just confusing things popping up on the screen that don't represent um uh, something that's actually um kind of uh useful for me to uh, to know. Uh, so let me see. So yeah, I think this is basically it. Uh, to summarize, uh, the reference for all of the keyboard layouts is, uh, can be found in the X keyboard config uh, man page. If you forget what it what it is like the the name of this man page just look in the man page for uh, set x key beam map like that one you do have to remember but it's easy it's like set x keyboard map uh, and uh, then just uh, go to the bottom of the man page and uh, it's over here in the C also section so that's where you can find all of the layouts that you might want. Let me just try one um, kind of random layout for for like some some other language. Uh, let's try like something like Japanese or something. JP. Uh, let's see how that uh, does JP. Hmm. Um, yeah, it works. Still switched to just like a layout. And I didn't have to, you know, configure anything. Um, uh, well, in terms of like open some graphical window where I need to like select all the keyboard layouts that I want. And uh, yeah, I can just do it like this. And uh, but then when I'm done, uh, um, I can just uh, go ahead and go back to and I can just go back to the 
to my previous layout and uh, there we go uh, like I don't need to set anything up uh, so, like uh, in, in addition to this there's just this one command so yeah this is basically it for this video thanks for watching I hope you found this uh, this little tip valuable and I'll see you in the next one